हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दी माय चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल गिव ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ जी एस एम मॉडल सीम एट जीरो जीरो एल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डेमोस्ट्रेट हाउ टू इनेबल वेरियस फंक्शनलिटीज ऑफ जी एस एम मॉड्यूल बाय यूजिंग ए टी कमांड्स एंड आई विल बी ऑल्सो राइटिंग अडिनो प्रोग्राम फॉर मेकिंग द कॉल डिस्कनेक्टिंग द कॉल एंड सेंडिंग द मैसेज सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ इंट्रोडक्शन दिस इज अवर सीम एट जीरो जीरो एल जी एस एम मॉड्यूल एट वन ऑफ द पिंस एंटीना इज कनेक्टेड This is a front side. Now I will show back side. This is a back side. We can connect back strip. You will get pin names at left side as well as right side. We have to insert SIM card. To press the SIM card, you have to keep this position and you have to apply some pressure here, and you will get sound. So this is how you have to insert the SIM card. Now I will be connecting this GSA model with Arduino Uno. for giving various commands i have given power supply to this module from arduino now this led is blinking with 1 second delay that means this module has not acquired the network once the module acquired the network the led blinking speed will get reduced right now led is blinking every after 3 second that means this module has acquired the network So let's discuss JSA model scene eight zero zero L. Left image is the front view and right image is the rear view of the model. This is the rear view, top upper corner and bottom lower corner. There are name of the pins. Let's discuss all the pins. Very first pin is a net where we can connect helical antenna. Next VCC and ground pins. By using these two pins, we can power up the device. So this device is uh, operating in the range of 3.4 volt to 4.4 volt. Keep in mind, 3.3 or 5 volt is not in the range of 3.3 volt or 4.4 volt. That's why don't connect directly Arduino to power up this device. We can use bulk converter or lithium battery to power up the device. Next one is a RST pin. This is an input pin. If we want to reset this module, we can use RST pin. Next one is a RXD pin. This is the input pin. If any other device want to send any information to this module, then this pin can be used. Next one is a TXD pin. This is the output pin. When module is responding to the any other module, then it will send the information via TXD pin. This module work on UART protocol. Right side first pin is a ring pin. This is the output pin. If this device is a ringing, this pin will become low. Next one is a DTR pin, which is an input pin. If we want this device to enter into the sleep mode, we can use this pin. Next two pins are for mic, and next two pins are for speaker. And now we will send some commands to this GSM model from the computer. And for that purpose, we have to use your protocol. For interfacing purpose, we will take the help of Arduino. Default baud rate is a nine six double zero. For interfacing GSM model with Arduino for sending command from computer to module, we are using this diagram. Here in this diagram, I am giving power supply from 5 volt of Arduino, and I have used diode so that diode will be having 0.7 volt drop, and that's why voltage reaching to this module is approximately 4.3 volt. Arduino is working on 5 volt, and this module is working on less than 5 volt. That's why. when i am connecting rx pin of arduino and rx pin of gcs module that time i am using voltage divider network which will reduce the voltage when voltage signal is coming from arduino to module you can connect tx pin directly if you don't have registers then you can directly connect rx pin of arduino with rx pin of gsm module but it is not recommended now let's discuss various commands AT AT means attention. If we give AT command to this module, it will give response as a OK. If we want to make a call, then we can give command ATD, the info number semicolon. If we want to disconnect the call, we have to give command ATH. If we want to identify current network operator, then we have to give command AT plus COPS question mark. If we want to use SMS facility of this module, then we have to enter in text mode. For entering into the text mode, we have to give command AT plus CMGF is equal to one. If we want to read all the messages in the SIM card, then we have to give command AT plus CMGL is equal to all. 
if we want to send a message from this module to any other module then we have to give command 80 plus cmgs is equal to in double quotes phone number where i want to send message then message to be sent and then control z here we are going to use putty software in the computer for sending various commands from computer to the gsm module this is a arduino uno and this is a gsm module I have removed this IC from Arduino Uno because I want to give command to this GSM module. If you do not want to remove this IC, you have to short reset and ground pin of Arduino Uno. Then there is a zero pin that is RX pin of Arduino is connected to the RX pin of GSM module via this voltage divider network. Whereas pin number one that is TX pin of Arduino Uno is connected to the TX pin of GSM module. I am using diode here because I am using power supply of 5 volt from Arduino Uno. This diode will drop the voltage by approximately 0.7 volt. So I can give power supply of around 4.3 volt to this GSM model. I will be connecting 9 volt adapter here at the same time for giving command I will be connecting a cable from laptop to Arduino Uno. I have powered up the device by using 9 volt adapter. And I have connected this cable for giving various command and this LED is blinking with 3 second delay that means it has acquired the network. So let's start giving command from laptop. Uh, I have already connected my GSM module to the computer via Arduino. So I will take first which COM port is selected. Right now it has selected COM 12 port. Then for giving command. I com my computer must have putty software you can download putty software very easily from the internet so official website is here just you have to click on download putty and based on your computer configuration you have to download a particular software and then you have to install it in my case it is already installed so i will open putty after that i will choose serial then here i will type pom 12 because pom 12 is already selected which we have seen in the device manager and speed 9600 which is a default baud rate we have to click on open here very first command which i will be giving is a 80 that means attention so right now it is showing error now it is giving me ok as a reply which is the correct one then i will give command 80i so in the response it will give me product information then I will type 80 plus COPS is equal to question mark. It will scan the network and it will give me information about number of network operators. If I want to know specific my operators, then I have to give command 80 plus COPS question mark. My telephone operator is a Airtel. Then for observing my phone book, I will be giving command. 80 plus cpbr is equal to question mark so it will be giving a list of my phone book i want to know first 10 entries in my phone book so i will type command 80 plus cpbr is equal to 1 comma 10 so these are the various numbers i have stored in my sim card then i want to do some operations with the sms so my command must be 80 plus cmgf is equal to 1 so that my module will enter into the text mode after that suppose i want to read all the messages in my sim card so i will type 80 plus cmgl is equal to in double quotes all so it will give me a list of all the messages suppose suppose i want to call number then i have to give command atd then phone number semicolon enter so it will make the call now if i want to disconnect the call type command ath then enter so now call is disconnected suppose i want to send a message then your model should be in text mode only already we have entered in text mode then 80 plus cmgs is equal to phone number Double quotes complete. Enter. Here we have to type the message. After that, enter. Then 
control z once i press control z it will send the message now my message is received now we will be giving this command from arduino and for that we have to write the program let's understand how to send command to gsm module from arduino and for that purpose we have to write program in the arduino now look at the interfacing diagram second pin of arduino is connected to the rxd pin of gsm module and third pin of arduino is connected to the pxd pin of gsm module so come to the program the software serial library is used to enable virtual uart at pin number 7 a button is connected this is a phone number where i want to call and i want to send message this is the object is created for virtual uart pin 7 is made as a input pin here serial communication is initialized for in by default uart and virtual uart then by using these three lines we are making call to other number and this call will be made for 10 seconds after 10 seconds this call will be disconnected by using these lines we are entering into the text mode then we are monitoring button if button is high that means it is not pressed then this while condition will be executed if button is pressed then it will come to the next line it will wait for 300 millisecond and once again it will check really button is pressed or not if button is pressed then we are sending command 80 plus cmgs then followed by that phone number then after that the message to be sent and then ASCII code of control z and this is how we are sending message now i will download this program into the arduino go to the tools then select arduino uno then select com port in my case it is a com7 and then click on upload so my uploading is over now i will keep running my program in arduino now click on serial monitor it will try to make call such messages will be appearing onto the serial monitor so it is trying to make call for 10 seconds now call is established now it will be disconnected after 10 seconds now it is monitoring a button now i will press button so that message will be sent look at the mobile screen message is received at the mobile so this is how we have made the call, we have disconnected the call and we have sent the message.